Guys, so here's nine things that I quit doing when I reached my 50s. Look, if you're in your 30s or 40s and you're watching this, you may want to watch to the end because there's one thing I know about my 50s, and that is my 50s brought some clarity, a whole different level of understanding about money and about life. Now, the first thing is I, I stopped caring about what people thought about me so much. Look, as long as I'm a nice person and treat people with respect and have empathy for people and care and concern for other people, I stopped worrying about what other people thought about me. There's always going to be people who don't like you for one reason or another no matter what you do. And I had to sort of realize, and I began to realize after age 50 that the small amount of people that really don't like me are usually the people who don't really know me the best, right? So I got this sort of revelation to stop worrying about what other people thought about me because they're either gonna like me, or they're gonna dislike me, or they're gonna love you, or they're gonna hate you. There's nothing you can do about it 99.9% .9 of the time, right? And as you get older, your circle's gonna get smaller. And I mean real small, and that's okay. Now, the second thing I quit doing when I reached my 50s is I quit taking my physical well-being for granted. Now, look, the older I got, the more important it was to actually start getting up and moving and walking and exercising and eating better. Look, gravity and father time are undefeated. So sometimes you just got to get up and move and be active and be physical and be working out certain parts of your body and making sure you're getting your cardio. You got to start taking care of the one body you get. And oftentimes, for a lot of people, it's too late. You know, I was always a person that would exercise, but by the time I reached 50, I really began to see the need for it more than ever before. Now, the third thing I quit doing after age 50 is I stopped ignoring the importance of tax planning. Now, I know that sounds pretty odd, but look, when you're young, you don't think about taxes so much for most people, right? You don't think about tax advantages, how to take advantage of certain loopholes and legal things and the tax codes and Right? We just say, oh, I want to do my taxes real quick. Run down to the uh, corner store and, hey, can you do my taxes? Sure, do my taxes. When you get to be older, it ain't that simple. When you start adding assets and things to your portfolio, your overall investments, it's not as simple as just, boom, let me just do my taxes real quick. So when I turned 50, I started taking my taxes way more serious. Not to mention, I've been audited before by the IRS for a small business I had about 10 years ago. So nowadays, I pay good money for a good solid CPA and a person that's gonna prepare my taxes, help me learn about taxes and do some consulting about tax planning. I take it more serious now that I'm older and I begin to see how that can be a difference maker when it comes to investments and money. Now, the fourth thing I quit doing after age 50 is I quit putting off estate planning. I quit putting off Oh, a will, ah, no big deal. A trust, ah, no big deal. Look, I, I said forget all that. I'm getting older and I have assets. And many of you watching this, you may say, well, I only have $50,000, $40,000, $100,000. Look, if you have any assets, you need to think seriously and strongly about estate planning. When it comes to wills and powers of attorney and other end of life preparations, these things became more of a priority the older I got and the closer I got to my mortality, let's keep it real. Because neglecting that stuff in the end, it really just hurts your loved ones and the people who are gonna be here when you're not here anymore. So I had to buckle down around the age of 50 and get an estate plan and review it every few years to make changes that may be necessary. Now, the fifth thing I quit doing is I quit feeling guilty about putting myself before my kids. Look. When you get over 50, oftentimes, not all the time, but a lot of times, the kids are getting older or they're already adults and have moved on with their life, and you have to get comfortable with the idea that they can take care of themselves. They don't need you to take care of them anymore. You spend 15, 20 years of your life doing everything for your children, and by the time they get 20, 25, and you're 45, 50 years old, they don't need you anymore. That takes some getting used to. And I'm not saying you abandon your kids when you get to be 50, but I'm saying that for me, I personally had to start taking more care of myself because I no longer have to take care of them. They're grown and gone. And that's tough 
for some people to adjust to. Now, the sixth thing I had to quit doing when I turned age 50 is I had to quit ignoring health care. Now, when I say health care, I don't mean taking care of my physical body. I mean making sure that if something happens to me in terms of my health, it could be paid for. Look, time goes by faster the older you get. So for me, I had to stop overlooking the inevitable that I'm going to get older and older and older and possibly need health care. And I had to realize, hey, look, health care is not just something that old people think about. I had to understand that I'm becoming old people, right? That's an eye opener. And so a good portion of planning in my early 50s has been about how can I make sure that I have health care that continues as I get older and older? Something I really didn't have to think about or didn't think about 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Now, the seventh thing I quit doing when I reached age 50 is I quit underfunding emergencies or my emergency fund. Look, for a long time, you know, you have two or three thousand dollars sitting to the side in case something goes wrong, but something major can go wrong beyond that. Building out a fully funded emergency fund was really important for me. And it's something that for a long time in my 30s and some places in my 40s, I sort of kind of overlooked. But the older I got, the more seriously I took a possible emergency fund. The fact is this, and people don't really talk about this, but when you get older, you have less energy right? You may not have the energy or the health to go out and work two or three jobs and 70, 80 hours a, a week if you have to, if something goes wrong and you have an, an emergency. But when you're young, you're not even thinking about that. But when you get old, it's really important to have an emergency fund. A little bit of cushion, right? Cuts down on the stress and it cuts down on the possibility that you could be out in the cold if something goes wrong. Look, if I'm 25 and I'm out in the cold, I'm cool. I can handle that. If I'm 55, I don't want to be out in the cold for nothing. So I'm going to make sure that I build up a cushion so that don't happen. I'm not going to be out in the cold struggling. Now, the thing I quit doing when I got over the age of 50 is I quit assuming that Social Security benefits would automatically be there just because I paid into it for 30 or 40 years, right? I sort of stopped assuming that that Social Security check is going to be there because it may not. See, if I can do everything I can, and this is what I, this is my thought process when I was in my, in my late 40s, right? Mo about to hit 50. If I can do all I can to never rely on Social Security, I'm good. Just in case that Social Security, there's a program or something happens, you get a new uh, Congress gets in there and passes a few laws and it's not there for some reason or they want to spread it out and make it less of the money that it was supposed to be for you. If that happens, I'm cool. So by the time I got to be 50 years old, I started saying, okay, how can I make sure I have a buffer just in case Social Security is not there? I can't assume it's going to be there. These are things that really you start, you don't, there's certain things you don't really think about until you get closer to the time when they're going to matter. And Social Security is one of them because who knows what's going to happen with it. But just in case, I'm ready. Now, the ninth thing that I really stopped doing when I got to be over 50 is I stopped comparing myself with other people. Like, those days are long gone at this point. I quit comparing myself to neighbors, colleagues, peers, friends from high school and college and beyond. I just got away from the idea of comparing myself to other people where everybody else is in life, whether it's career, job, whatever it could be, money, doesn't matter. I don't have to measure up to other people's expectations and I don't have to try to, to pressure myself to live up to what other people else are doing or have done, right? When you get over 50, guys, you find out really quick, if you didn't already know, that life is short right? You think life is short in your 20, when you're 25, 30 years old, but you really begin to feel it and realize it when you get a little older. So for me, what everybody else is doing is of no concern to me. I'm just focused on my journey now more so than ever before. Hey, if you can identify with anything that I talked about in this video, do me a favor, drop me a comment below and let me know your experience. And also, Please share this information with someone who you know. Hey, the best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you. Guys, take good care of yourself and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.